which qigong level you are rich now you practice qigong you know many years sometimes uh, you know many months you see the change but you're still wondering which level i am right how do i know they are signs there's always as a sign at a three-dimensional level, we are living in this three-dimensional level. Our body is the mirror. So use your body as the mirror and try to see yourself. Now, generally speaking, we only say generally speaking, there are a couple of levels you can see yourself. And the first level is the health, at a health issue. So when you use Qigong practice, how much you change at the health level, right? Physical health, mental health, emotional health. At the health level, you must see the result. You know, so some problem can be changed just immediately, no matter how many years you go to many doctors, try many different ways, the bone, you practice a couple of months and it disappear, right? So something you must see because you have a result, right? Body never lies. The first level, always see at the physical level, you can see. And sometimes at the emotional level, because they are connect, body and the mind, they are connect. So you must see that we saw the Qigong practice will impact to this level. So if you practice many months and many years and it doesn't accomplish a lot, then you know your body doesn't meet the requirement. That's at the least in that level you didn't fix. You didn't reach until your physical level at the emotional level, you accomplish your change. Then the intuition, right? Your creativity, which is not IQ, your EQ will change. You will suddenly feel, wow, I'm smart. Yes, you are smart. Now you see at the different. Now you can see things differently now. Right? You have some different kind of understanding by different ways, right? So you know, sometimes you say, hey, I know, I know what I know, because I cannot prove, because you just know, right? That's called the intuitive mind. So Qigong practice must, in my opinion, must stimulate or discover or open or develop your intuitive mind. That's another rational mind. Rational mind based on the study and the books. Intuitive mind is based on the qi. So that's why one of the beauty and the qigong practice can discover and help you develop your intuitive mind. Right? That's one thing and the priceless. Your intuitive mind change. You have some kind of psyche. You feel, oh, today I don't want to go. It's too early. You know, or too late. I don't. Otherwise, I get the traffic. Right? Oh, I don't want to go. Something might happen. Your interior mind change. That's one of the Qigong benefits. That's the next level. So after your interior mind change, then your body say, hey, continue practice and follow the rule and go to deep. What is the deep level? Your potential. Your potential. And suddenly something you feel, wow. I just feel I want to play the piano. I just feel I want to be the garden. I just feel I want to travel. No matter what, something totally unusual, which is totally out of the mind. Doesn't make sense. And particularly, particularly in other people's eyes, they think you are crazy. Something changed. What's wrong with you? Then I say, what's right with you? Because you are so great. Because you reach the that level now. You are potential because something just happened, right? Because you meet the requirement. Your spirit step in now. Now you see your potential, right? Which is how many times we always say, I want to see my potential, right? I always heard the song as give me one moment of the time, right? Yeah, the chi give you a moment of your time, right? Can you? So you see your potential and suddenly you have something come out. It's unbelievable and it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense at the spiritual level 
and that doesn't make sense at this physical level. I think you know you at pretty high level something change. Now, if you continue practice again, go to much deep and something else more deeply will allow you realize, truly realize, not mentally understand everything's connect. Right? We can study, hey, yeah, everything's connect. Then, you know, use the five element, you know, charts, use yin yang theories, use the quantum physics, everything, right? Based on the quantum physics, everything is connect. Yeah, that's it. Does a rational mind understand everything is connected? But can you understand by intuitive mind? Can you through your chi and through your consciousness real feel everything is connected? You connect to the season, you connect to the tree, you connect to the animals. Then you understand you shouldn't do this way. You should understand even you don't go out for fishing. You don't understand. You don't, you know, you don't do the hunting anymore, right? Then you understand why you put the, your joy to the other people's hurt, right? Sometimes my patient tell me, yeah, I go to fishing, then I let it go. I say, can you imagine you drive the car, try to go to see your girlfriend and the cop and the catch you. And say, oh, I just need the fun for you. And, you know, come to our office, you know, cop for you. Then a couple hours of releasing you. How do you feel? Just have fun. Now you can't put your fun and other people suffer, and then you understand everything's a connect. You shouldn't do this way, right? So therefore, when you practice deep enough, you will have a, at the least a biological level, right? Energetic level, true connection. You feel the pain. You feel that it's not a mental, it's not a rational mind, it's an intuitive mind touch you. Just like sometimes a mother and the child, the mother has a feeling, child has a danger, so something happens without the mind. Has a something coming in, right? That kind of level. So, but Qigong practice, if you continue go too deeper, will happen. That's the more natural. So after you all have this and suddenly you feel you have a gift, right? You have a passion. Now you want to help someone. You want to go out, will you do something? Now, that kind of passion is more real. Just like I said, I want to help you. Now, it's not just I want to help you. You know, you know, that's your responsibility. You know everything's connected. So that kind of help is much deeper and more powerful and more effective. So there are a couple of levels and it depends on which level you reach. At the least that you can see yourself, oh, there are a couple levels at there, and based on the Qigong practice, how deep, how serious, how long, right? But remember one thing, remember one thing, the Chinese always say, you know, in our practice, doesn't matter how many years you are practice, don't be fooled by the longer you practice, the better you are, it has nothing about this, right? The Qigong is a different, it's a mystery. It's a discover the mystery. It's the, you know, you travel to the invisible war. You no one knows the path. So if you're good, you meet the requirement, something will happen. It has, doesn't matter how long you practice. Once you reach it, once you discover it, has nothing to say who's better than who. It's almost the same. So therefore, you real need is focus on yourself. Quality, quantity. Answer always lies within. I hope this information will help you to see at least at a superficial level, at the least at the rational mind can see that its levels and the body will show you.